Hello my soccer nerds for the third video that I'm shooting now and I will be posting probably in a day but I probably have to space them out a little bit because it's too much information. Europa League draw for me that was the big one. There was nothing else that I'm gonna wear than one of my Europa League Lusk jerseys for, for that one. That's the first time that Lusk has been in a draw after the winter break. So I was very excited who we're gonna get. When I looked at the possibilities, I honestly have to tell you, I was hmm, not so uh, sure what do I want to get. Do I want to have an attractive draw, but one where we will be get eliminated? Do we want to have a solvable draw? But who is it? As we will see, we got one that I think is straddling both. It is semi-attractive, but also I think not without uh, the chances. So. Um, it's an even draw. It will be. I think it will be interesting games. Uh, here is how the lineup goes, and we have first the uh, seven o'clock games and the nine o'clock games, and that's how we're gonna run through it, not the order that they were drawn. Cluj Sevilla. When Cluj came out of the box, I said, "I don't wanna have Cluj." They got Sevilla. I think it's an attractive draw for Cluj. Really good. Uh, Bruges got dr uh, drawn right after Lask. I didn't want to play Bruges again. I think against United. That's a Champions League type caliber matchup uh, that you might see also on the group stage. So I think that's an interesting one. The next one is a super, super interesting one uh, to me. You know, I'm from Austria. Frankfurt against Salzburg. Um, there is quite some history there. It starts with the coach and the coach ties it actually all, all together of Frankfurt, Adi Hütter. And when Salzburg had the, the original Salzburg, um, they're still the same club, but Red Bull doesn't, uh, blah, 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 whole different story if you, don't, if you may or may not, not know it. And, and anyway, Salzburg, under its old disguise in purple, had this famous, at least in Austria, um, famous Europa Cup run from 90, in 93, 94, where they made it all the way to the final. And on the road there in the quarterfinals and the first match after the winter break, they faced Frankfurt, no other than Frankfurt. Uh, and they managed to win 1-0 at home. Goal scorer Adi Hütter, now coach at Frankfurt, lost the uh, return like 1-0 in Frankfurt and then won on penalties and were the first Austrian team to eliminate a German team. Um, in addition, Adi Hütter was the coach of Salzburg, won a championship and then left because he didn't want to be, uh, that was the first time when it was kind of, will uh, Salzburg now be just a feeder club for Leipzig? And he said, I don't want to be uh, the feeder, uh, a trainer of a feeder club, I want to be at the top club. And then he went to uh, Bern and um, were successful there. Now Salzburg, I think, is not um, yes, is a, is a feeder club, but not to Leipzig anymore. So I think uh, there will be quite some stuff that might be interesting. This is a hugely interesting matchup, and if Salzburg remains as they are, and even if they lose, let's say Mina Minamino, or possibly even Holland. I think Salzburg, I would still favor Frankfurt just due to the inconsistency of, inconsistencies of Frankfurt. Um, if this was played at this very moment, there's no question in my mind that Salzburg would win this one. Two months from now, it might be a different story. Copenhagen against Celtic, a very interesting matchup, Northern European teams. Getafe Ajax was one of the first ones out. Getafe was also an opponent that I wanted to avoid. Ludo Goretz Inter, I think, is a nice draw for Inter and also a nice draw for Ludo Goretz to get a really big team in there. I don't think Inter will... Uh, put a lot of emphasis on the Europa League. Schachter Benfica, that's a Champions League caliber match, matchup that's definitely interesting. Well, they both come from a Champions League. And then Sporting against Bajakshi here. Uh, kind of, yeah, both played against Austrian teams in the group stage. Interesting, uh, but you know, it's not the glamour matchup in there. Wolves Espanyol. Um, if Espanyol wasn't so bad, I think this would be a really interesting one because that's England against Spain. I think Wolves will win them. And then here we have Lask, Alkmaar against Lask. We disposed of PSV handily once they had many injuries. I'm not sure if we will do so with Alkmaar, but it will be. I think this we will meet on level terms here, but I would give a slight edge to Alkmaar. I think they are, the way they're playing in Netherlands at the moment, they are the better team. Leverkusen Porto, Champions League caliber, really interesting one. Um, 
actually want to give the edge to Porto, but you know, Leverkusen might take it seriously. Olympiakos was also one of the ones that I did not want to have, and I was so happy when Arsenal went there. Uh, Regular, I would say Arsenal are huge favorites. Not so sure. The way Arsenal is now, Olympiakos can do something here. Rangers against Sporting Braga could be a level affair. Um, Apoel Basel, I would give an edge to Basel. They both were limited in the Champions League qualification. Wolfsburg, Malmö, I would give it to Wolfsburg, although Wolfsburg is not playing great. And Roma, Ghent, normally Roma, but the way Roma has been playing in the Europa League, I am not so sure about that anymore. And Ghent has been actually playing quite well. So quite interesting matchups. Then in the return leg, the uh, starting times are reversed, which I like that Lask is playing at 7. I'm not sure if I will go for tickets uh, yet, but um, because, you know, from also it's really nice to see something like that in a stadium on the other the other side thanks to the channel i want to watch as many things as possible as well so to give you a fuller picture so i have have to decide and have to also see the prices how they will increase or not anyway let me know what you thought about the europa league uh draw whether any of your teams was in there and whether you're happy with the draw if it was so uh, I know the Europa League gets a bad rap, but I actually think, um, especially when there are many games to be played, there's always something interesting there. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, drop a comment below as I said, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.